Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday, July 26th. We have the white pieces. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like pushing is a good move here. Force them to move their knight around. Oh my god. I don't even know what to say. I hope this bodes well for me. What feels active? This feels pretty active. Kind of prevent this pawn from coming out. Mm hmm. Pushing this pawn also seems pretty good. Opens up space for my bishop, gains a tempo on this, supports this pawn, so. I guess they could go down here, but then I can just push this pawn. Tempos all day long. Okay, here we go. Gain a tempo. Um, yeah, bringing this out seems good. Yeah, just bringing this out seems good. I was looking at this, see if I could trap queen, but I think knights come, knight comes out here is good. This push is also pretty good. I think after takes, knight takes, it's okay. So, Yeah, knight coming out seems good to me. Not sure what their plan is at this point. Okay. I guess that's how they can castle. This looks kind of useful. Pins the knight. Okay, let's not think too hard and get too far behind on time. I'm just gonna castle, we're ahead, but I think maybe this could be good. Ooh, you know, that would have been a good chance to, before castling, jump that in if he pushes that. Let me push this and we try to go for that fishing pull trap. Oh, but, but he didn't castle yet, so that is one thing to look out for. This seems good. Try to force him to open up space in front of the king. Otherwise, pinning this knight. Okay, my pieces are out. My pieces are active. They still have two pieces to move to get developed. Okay. Um, let's keep the pin. 
Okay. Let's reroute this towards the king. Then we gotta put our knight somewhere. Maybe here is good. Okay, they break the pin so their knight can get out. Hard for me to come up with a clear plan here. Maybe getting, ooh, getting my knight to this square would just be so crushing. Yeah, nice weak spot, weak spot. Real problems on their dark squares. Maybe at some point I could like take here, then take here and win a piece. Ooh. Ah, he controls that square now. I do see this takes, 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 and then lock, and then trap, trap the rook basically to win, win the exchange. So that seems good to me. And basically have a crazy good bishop slash forward pawn. I could also reroute this this knight just to get back in there because it's just so good. And then open up space for my queen to come in. Uh, okay, so this is the plan now. Could this knight get here somehow? Could this knight go to the square? Oh, cool, it like snaps to actual directions now. Ooh, that is a good move. There are dark square problems. Got a little better. I think we keep we keep that there. Wow. Um, yeah, I think we we do not want to trade. We just want to solidify that pawn and make sure. They just have a really hard time getting out. Their position is so cramped right now. Okay, defend this. I think bring the queen over and put it here. Try to make her way down that way. Uh-huh, okay, now they're trying to make some space to get out. I think this is good.
Try to create problems for them, force them to push their pawns. Create even more weaknesses. All right, try to break out. This prophylactic move could be really useful. Uh, we put this here first. Well, they could push this. Which could end up being pretty annoying. But if they go all the way here, I think we just bring this up. Or bring this over. Eh, eh. But yeah, this prophylactic move just to keep them completely locked in is kind of in line with something I learned today of just, if they're already cramped, keep them even more cramped. This knight has zero squares it can safely go to, except for back to its original square. So if here, uh, if this, how do we exploit that? Guess it just creates another dark square weakness. We could just drop this back and just wedge this bishop right there. Get the rooks in the game somehow. Okay, now he's trying to get out. This looks like a good start. Threaten this. Then if push, then we threaten this. Yeah, creating that mate in one threat always seems useful first. Maybe we bring this in. Yeah, he can no longer push that. So he's gotta push this. Yeah, and then exploiting that weak bishop seems rather useful. Well, yeah, I guess we can come here and then now these two are weak. Yup, yup, yup. I guess the bishop could reroute itself over there. And then I would go here and try to make my way in.
Yeah, let's go after this bishop. I, I imagine it'll go back. Then I could go here, and then if he pushes this for the fork, I could come back here, threatening Maiden 1 again. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. I think... Pushing this pawn to come help? Seems like a good way to go. Let's go. Pressure on the king. Maybe this might lock things down. Ooh. Just seems totally random. So if I push and they push, then I think I can just come here. And now we're threatening mate, mate again. I guess they could bring their rook over. Interesting. I must be completely winning. This bishop has gotten a little bit bad. Okay, let's just see. I think he might just push. Then I bring this back over, threaten mate in one. He might bring the rook over. Threaten mate in one again. Now, now what? Now what? Now, how do we create? Opportunities. He's just defended everything. Should we try to trade off this bishop? As one of his last defenders? Wow, what an interesting position. I'm really at a loss. I, I just don't know. He has space now to actually run back this way. I'm just curious if I can sacrifice somehow. But yeah, I'm, I'm running out of time, but I, I need to make, I just don't know how to make progress. Okay, let's find a way to get rid of that bishop. Let's 
find a way. I'm gonna give him some some time. Okay. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's just do it. It's probably gonna push this pawn. Where do I go though? Yeah. Maybe he just takes. It's not a bad move. Try to gain a tempo on him or something. But I am struggling. Maybe we bring this bishop in. Hmm. Well, I think if we push this, this bishop is going down. Take away, like his dark squares are a nightmare. It, it's, it's a miracle he was able to bring it over and defend his king, but now with this dark square bishop gone, that's the imbalance I need. That's the imbalance I need to go try to put this away. Yeah, he's got some he's got some threats, no joke. All right. Now we get rid of this for sure. And then this Definitely wins us an exchange, but this is a crazy good. Oh, no, he can't. Is this checkmate? I think that's checkmate. Oh, good game. Good game, my man. Wow, whoa, an 1801, wow, that's crazy. What a game. All right, that was, that was pretty satisfying. Found an opportunity to okay. This is this is just some poor, poor opening play. Like, what is this? What is this garbage? Every almost every move I made was just gaining a tempo on him, gaining time. And yeah, here's the key moment. Once that pawn got in there, oh. There's nothing he could do. And this 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 bishop right here was gonna be my hero. It was gonna win me an exchange, but the dark squares are the battle. And I think getting rid of his dark squared bishop could have been good, but it's kinda what gave me a chance. Okay, yeah. So at this point, the plan is Get my queen, try to create attacking opportunities, and don't let him develop. Don't let him push out. If he if he's gonna push out, make it really hard and make it take a lot of time for him to do it. 
we create the threat, we loosen up the pieces in front of his king, we create another threat, we bring his king forward, we bring a pawn to come, okay, yeah, I mean, look at this, this is like mating, mating 101, all those mating combinations are paying off, we bring another thing to, to loosen it up, we bring this back, wow, it's amazing that this pawn and this pawn, okay, not really this pawn, but this pawn helped, but this pawn even played a a part in checkmating him too. So I took a long think at this point because I, I calculated this. I saw he could come over, he could defend the checkmate square and all that good stuff. But this this bishop is just the hero. Like there's nothing I can do. To it is just stopping everything. So we go on a mission to remove it. He does create some threats, you know, pushes me back a little bit. But after this, he's got no more squares. He's blocked in, can't find a place to go to, and even if he was able to escape like this way or something like that, this bishop is coming in with, with force. And after that, it just so works out that this bishop's a beast, this bishop's about to become a beast, this is a beast, and even if this wasn't checkmate, my queen was coming in and it was it was lights out, but yeah. Oh, <sighs> recognizing the weakness of the dark squares, finding a way to win on those squares, pretty satisfying. Removing the main defender of those squares. It also helps that my opponent lost probably two or three moves in the opening from just poor opening prep. So let's take a look real quick. It was a Alakine defense. Um, let's take a look. Let's do a quick computer analysis. Yeah. Already loses half a point. And then loses a full point by running it all the way back. Brings this into defend. Brings this into pin the pawn that would want to come out and contest that pawn. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Now already down to plus two with the, the compensation that I can get. Bring the knight out. We can go after the bishop, but I just say, eh, screw it. Let's just play normal. Let's just play chess. Let's, let's just develop. Um, throw in another pin. Oh yeah, wow, wonderful. I come back here, attack the king. Oh, 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 what is going on? Um, that I'm not too sure about. Oh, I found it, I found the killer move. I can't believe it. That's his only defense. Oh. Not completely sure, but yep, this goes there. Oh, it likes me to take move Defender of the Dark Squares, but I don't want to, and it, the computer seems to be okay with that. Oh. Yeah, that other way could have been good too bring some defense to this this pawn. It actually ends up becoming a liability. We threaten mate in one. Uh, oh. We go after a different part. Oh! What? Now you tell me what happened here. What if takes? This is mate. God, I just missed some of the good stuff. 
I gotta find that maiden one. That's just that's just crazy. Wow, we're about to watch me have maiden one for like the next five moves. Okay, so it kind of kind of puts a little damper on the victory because I I basically miss maiden one like ten times. Grabs it. Now mating one. Oh! Yikes, a Rooney. Every time I can just take and it's mating one. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, well. I played well, not perfectly, but well enough, you know, to, to capitalize on that. I would have been really sad if I lost, because then I would have seen that I had maiden one and been like, I should still be a little bit self-critical, which I am. But okay, let's see. The main features of this win were losing tempo in the opening, pretty bad. Lodging this pawn up front, just cementing weaknesses on the dark squares, great. And um, look for mate in one. Look for mate in one, especially. I even pointed this out in the game, but when you have six pieces, six pieces contributing to um, contributing to uh, an attack, you could probably start considering some um, some sacrifices. There's got to be something, right? Okay. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a great night.